Well, it's running smooth now, and there's no knock. I did find the problem. After a couple hours of running it and looking at it with the magnifying glass, I found the wear point on the new crankshaft from the uh, bearing surfaces, and I filed down the bearing surfaces smoothly. And it is improving upon what was already done, which was done quite crudely. But now the clearance is clear. We're not getting that clunking knock. And the engine sounds very smooth with oil. I can add a little bit more oil now. With my vintage beady oil can. running very nicely so after machining the actual guide for the uh, push rod slider and getting that cleared up then cleaning up the bearings getting a new shaft from Stuart models which turned out great and got here quite quick um, as well as the governor belt which it took a little bit to figure out for myself. Uh, getting it cinched together without the twisting is a real trick. But I'm really happy with the engine now. It's gone from project engine to completed smooth running engine, ready to do some work, I think, on steam. And uh, it was a lot of fun to uh, explore while I was fixing it up. So before my compressor wakes up everybody, it's early in the morning here, here's a little bit of slow-mo as well. Next we're going to get that one running smoothly, then the number one, and then another number one that's going to be a project as well, so. But it's a treat, you'll like the other number one as well, so it'll be a good reference as well as this one will be an excellent reference for building the larger one properly that needs a lot of work. <laughs> 